Hello, Dr. Arnie Angrist, wellness chiropractor. Been in practice in New York and New Jersey for 36 years. And today I want to give you the, the treatment of the week. And basically the treatments consist of what I do from a manipulation point, from a trigger point therapy, soft tissue work, to physiotherapies. But this time it's about what you can do for yourself. Okay, and that includes three basic things that you need to do on a daily basis. It all starts with posture. When your posture is good, that takes an enormous amount of stress and strain off your back. But what do most people have? They have poor posture. As people get older, their posture goes to there. Well, that's from all the stresses of life over time that literally create a very heavy weight and create this poor posture. So posture, number one, is about consciousness. I call it the exercise of consciousness. So you being aware. Hopefully, everybody out there is a proud person, a proud human being. And when you're proud, you stand like this. Versus when we have the weight of the world on our shoulders, woe is me, I'm the victim, we tend to go there. So that's the first exercise, is really the exercise of consciousness. Standing proud, walking proud, being proud. The second component of, of posture is to find a wall where you can go up against that wall and have your heels, your butt, your shoulders, and the back of your head touching and feeling that position. That's where we should be. And then when you take a step away from that, you can retrain yourself into having this bad posture to make yourself into having this better posture, so making yourself more aware of that. Okay, and then the next component of posture to open up from here is doing a simple exercise where you put your arms out to your side and you move your arms back. And that opens up these chest muscles, takes pressure off the upper back. You hold it for just a few seconds, bring your arms up a little bit higher, do the same thing, bring your arms lower, and every single day keep retraining your body to be in that place. Posture is vital. Lots of research now saying posture is the new smoking. So the key or sitting is the new smoking. It puts an enormous amount of stress on the body, okay? After we deal with posture, that's the first component, is core strength. Core strength can simply be done by doing a plank exercise. So you go on your forearms and your toes and you hold this position for as long as you can hold it. And whether it's 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, holding that position and doing that every single day to do what? To create strength in your core. And when these muscles are strong, what does that do? It brings you back up. So even if you're overweight, you start getting those muscles underneath that belly fat to get stronger, that will help support you and help you with any kind of lower back, upper back problems that you might have. Then the third component is flexibility. There are three key exercises to stretch muscles in your hamstring muscles back here, your glutes in your butt, and your lower back. I'll start with the first one, which is for the, the hip and lower back area, is in bed, lying on the edge of your bed, letting your leg hang over, and letting your upper body go back. And the weight of your leg is just hanging and allowing the stretch in through your hip and your lower back. You can hold that 20 seconds, 30 seconds, a minute. feels really good to free that, those muscles up and reduce some of that muscle tension. The next two, hamstring stretch, where you're raising the leg up, the knee is slightly bent, and you feel that stretch back here in the hamstring. That hamstring controls everything that's going on in your lower back, middle back, upper back, and even neck area. Hold that for five or ten seconds, repeat it three or four or five times, and then do the other leg. Then the last one, which I think is the best stretch, which gets into the glute muscles, which affects the hips and lower back directly, is a piriformis stretch where you're pulling up towards your chin. A lot of people push down this way. But we want to pull it up towards you to elongate and stretch that gluteal muscle, in this case on the left side. And when you open this up, it really helps to take an enormous amount of pressure. Same thing, hold it, no bouncing, just really feeling the stretch and allowing that muscle to just elongate and open up. And when you do the combination of these three things, great posture, core strength, and flexibility, that to me is such an important tool in conjunction with what I do to create stability, to create correction for your back problems, hip problems, knee problems, and so on. 
In future videos, we're going to talk about specific areas that can be treated regarding your shoulder, your hip, TMJ problems, carpal tunnel, things that you can do for yourself. So I hope you have some great information here. If you have any questions about how you can help yourself, please don't hesitate to contact us on the information below. Thank you very much.